lovebirds, it's Kitty here once again and today we are here with a fun storybook video! I have been wanting to read this for ages and finally just got the time to sit down and read it so I'm super duper excited. We are reading today Badger and the Great Rescue and the back of it, we're going to read the blurb, says Eek! There is a mole stuck up a tree! The friends are quick to lend a hand, but however will they help him down? Can Badger come up with a clever plan to save the day? A story of friendship, courage, and a little recycling. There we go, we're doing recycling now, look at this. And it is by, does it, who's it, let's have a look. Let's get it right. So normally it has like, who it's written by and who's illustrated by, but it just has two names. So it is Suzanne Cheem and Caroline Pedler which they sound nice. Oh, there's very cute little things in here. Okay, right, so the first page looks very cute. Let's read it. One bright day, Badger was busy reading when Mouse raced up. Badger, look look at this rope I found, she cried. It's perfect for a washing line. Will you help me make one? Of course, smiled Badger. He picked up his tool bag and off they went. Now he is reading his book. And he's got like a little picnic. And, and there's Mouse. In no time at all, Mouse's washing was hung on her brand new line. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at them. I wonder where the rope came from, said Badger. Then something in the bushes caught his eye. He reached into the leaves and heaved it out. It's a basket, squeaked Mouse. It's a mystery, frowned Badger. However did it get here? Mouse hopped excitedly. It would make a brilliant shed for Hedgehog. Badger nodded. Let's surprise him. They patched and mended until the shed was perfect. Hedgehog will be so pleased, Mouse giggled. And she was right. Making shed It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you, squealed Hedgehog. It's wonderful. We found it in the bushes, said Mouse. That's strange, said Hedgehog. I found something too. Come with me. And there's the little basket made into a, into a little shed for him. But when they reached the clearing, Rabbit was already there. Look at my lovely cloth, she cried. I'm going to make a tent. But I need it to make a hammock, said Hedgehog. Can I have some for a kite? Mouse asked. We can share it, smiled Badger. There's plenty to go around. You need a big parachute thing. I think it's a parachute. Or something. Oh, they're cutting it up. Rabbit carefully divided up the cloth. Hold on, found Hedgehog. Why have you got the biggest piece? Because I'm the biggest, said Rabbit. But I found it first, huffed Hedgehog. And my piece is too small to make anything, Mouse sniffed. The friends started to bicker and soon there was a terrible rocket. Look at them. Make these really little divided up. Stop, called Badger. There's no need to squabble. We can share the cloth equally. Look, he divided the cloth into three equal pieces. Hooray, everyone cheered. I'll start snipping, beamed Rabbit. But just then, a bird swooped down. Quick, quick, she chirped. Someone needs our help. And then the cloth all equally divided. They followed Bird to the tallest tree in the forest. There, clinging to a branch, was a frightened little mole. Oh no, he's so small. See him up here? Help, he yelled. Help! How terrible, fretted Rabbit. What can we do? Sweet Mouse. Badger frowned. We must rescue him. I could try lift him down, offered Bird, but I think you'll be too heavy. We could build a really tall ladder, Hedgehog suggested, but that would take a very long time. I know, said Rabbit. Mole can jump and we'll catch him in that piece of cloth. They all rushed off to get it. Yeah. The 
friend stretched out the cloth like a huge trampoline. Jump, Mole, shouted Badger, and we'll catch you. But when Mole looked down, he couldn't believe his eyes. My hot air balloon! I knew he said something like that, he cried. A balloon, gasped Badger. That's where all these useful things came from. I tumbled out when I bumped into this tree, called Mole. I thought I'd lost it forever. Don't worry, shouted Badger. We'll fix your balloon and we'll use it to rescue you. This mole was so cute. Oh my gosh, look at you. I'm sorry, there'll be no new washing line or shed, said Badger as he collected the pieces of Mole's balloon. We don't mind, the friends replied. We must help Mole. Everyone set to work as they knotted and tied, stitched and glued until the balloon was as good as new. We're coming, Mole, called the rabbit as the balloon sailed up, up, onwards. At the top of the tree, Badger reached out with a strong, friendly paw. Don't be frightened, Mole, he said. Just hold on tight. You won't let go, whispered Mole. I promise, said Badger. And with a whoosh, he pulled Mole to safety. What lovely new friends you are, beamed Mole. How can I ever thank you? Well, said Badger, we were hoping you'd take us for a ride, laughed Rabbit. That's a wonderful idea, giggled Mole. Away we go. And they all floated off toward the brand new adventure. And there they are floating, and there's the bird flying by them. And that's the end. What a lovely little story that was so cute. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cute, honestly. I love that so much. I love these um little tiger books because the they're just so cute and the art in this is absolutely gorgeous, so beautiful. I love this badger with well glasses on. <laughs> oh, but thank you all so much for coming and listening to our little story time video today. It's been so much fun. If you want more of these, please let me know in the comments as I love to do them as long as you want them. Um, please, if you have not already subscribed, I make new videos every single week, every single Sunday. We have storybook videos or mystery box videos or some sort of little content for all your little needs. E. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Until later, babies. Bye.